So you want to own a blue-eyed, fluffy sled dog, the Siberian Husky. So today with me is Skye. She's actually one of my client's dogs, and she is so squirrely and so cute. Are you a good girl, Skye? You a good girl. She is so adorable. So if you want to see more adorable pups like Sky here, go ahead and follow me on Instagram, Lindsay Butzer DBM, and you'll also see my personal life, me and my six dogs, and what I do at work as a veterinarian. All right, let's get into this gorgeous dog breed, the Siberian Husky. <laughs> So before I keep talking about this beautiful blue-eyed husky breed, I want to thank this video's sponsor, which is Barco Uniforms. And I'm wearing these gorgeous wave blue scrubs right now. I'm going to put the link in my description below so you guys can go shop online for some new scrubs. As their name implies, the Siberian Husky is from Siberia, Russia. And they were used as racing sled dogs and used for transportation in rural communities. They can have brown or crystal blue eyes, or one of each, and are said to have a mischievous expression to them. They are part of the working group dogs at AKC dog shows, and they're moderately compact, well-furred bodies, they have erect ears and a brushed tail suggesting their northern heritage. Their characteristic gait is smooth and seemingly effortless. They perform their original function in harnesses at most capacity carrying a light load at a moderate speed over great distances. Siberian Huskies can show in AKC in a variety of allowable colors, such as gray, black, agouti, sable, red, and solid white. Asymmetrical markings and patterns and even piebald is allowed in the show ring, with the exception of merle or brindle patterns being disqualifying colors for the Siberian Husky. When I think of the personality of a Siberian Husky, I think of a high energy athletic dog. This dog has low fatigue levels. They can pull a sled across frozen terrains for hundreds of miles without getting severely tired. That means they're a very athletic dog who needs an energetic, strong owner. These dogs can pull you down, so they need to have a lot of training. They pull sleds for a living, for God's sakes. So we can't stop them from doing what they're good at doing, but you can train them to be a good dog. Huskies are the greatest escape artists. If a door or even a window is open, these guys want to escape and run. Another thing is, they like to dig under fences and get out. You have to watch them closely if you have a husky. Even when walking them, they will try to escape out of their leash and flail their bodies on the floor and try to go running. Most husky owners use a harness with them for extra safety. They are generally food motivated, so if they do get out, you could try shaking some food to catch them. Huskies are super smart, but they're also very stubborn. So you're gonna have to have a lot of bones and toys and entertainment for them, which they will definitely chew up and destroy, but you don't want them chewing your house. So if you have a Husky, be prepared to be getting them a lot of bones and chew toys to keep them busy. Huskies are known to be good with children, and they like to play and are generally not aggressive, but can be too playful. So you still need to monitor them with kids like any other dog breed. A Husky's temperament is meant to be friendly and gentle. They're alert dog breeds that will bark if an intruder comes in, but they're not known as good guard dogs. They will probably look at the intruder and run the other way. People also love Huskies because they're vocal. These guys howl like wolves, they chirp, they talk, they make all sorts of sounds. And humans just love that and think it's so cute. And owners of Huskies, they love the fact that they howl, they take videos of them, and you'll find videos of them all over YouTube howling and singing. Huskies shed a lot. So taking care of their hair coat might be too much work for you if you're thinking about getting a Husky. They blow their coat twice a year where a ton of hair is everywhere in your house. So the way you could deal with that is brushing them twice a day or they sell these vacuum brushes um, that I've seen a lot of videos about that suck up the hair as you brush your dog. So remember, Huskies are gonna be high maintenance in the grooming department. Two more things about their hair coat is that you never wanna shave a Husky. 
their hair can grow back patchy or not grow back normal at all. And then their coat might be water resistant, making them actually a pretty clean dog breed. And you only need to bathe them about every two to three months to keep them clean. You just need to do a lot of brushing and just kind of dust them off. But in general, the Husky is a clean dog breed. All right, guys, Sky was such a good girl for this video. She is so beautiful. Huskies are such a cool dog breed, and I've always wanted one. I just know that I don't have the time and the energy for them, right? You would think I would have the energy because I've got a lot of energy, but Huskies are actually one of the most challenging dog breeds to own. They're sled dogs. They don't fatigue. So if you don't mind living with a super fluffy, crazy dog that sings all the time, then this might be the dog for you. But sadly, a lot of Huskies end up in shelters because people just don't realize how much work they are and how much of an escape artist they are. Um, and of course, the shedding. They think they want this beautiful, blue-eyed Siberian Husky, and then they just can't keep up with it. So they get this beautiful puppy, um, and then it just doesn't fit with their lifestyle um, or their energy levels, and they end up at a shelter. So if you're gonna get one, be really serious about training and how much dedication and time it's gonna take because this is a dynamite of a dog breed. All right guys, comment below if you have a Husky, if you have any other tips to share for people looking for a Husky. I have millions of people watching my videos and pet parents and new pet owners. So comment below, hit that subscribe button, hit the thumbs up so my videos circulate, and I'll see you guys next week.